Now, if you've been following my channel lately, you know a lot of the laptops that have been coming in for review have had a high price tag, very expensive, out of the budget for a lot of the segment of the audience. But that's going to change today because what arrived in the studio is the HP Pavilion Aero 13. Not only does this have a premium display, it's a 16 to 10 aspect ratio display that has a QHD Plus display option, but it also has the AMD Ryzen 5800U under the hood. That's a Zen 3 AMD Ryzen chip. And it also has 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it has a magnesium alloy chassis, all metal body, and really premium. But the best part about this, it doesn't break the bank. With a starting price of $749, this might be the best value laptop to come out this year so far. And the timing is very good as we're getting ready to go back to school. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the HP Pavilion Aero 13 here for 2021. Coming up. Now, as we take a look at the specs in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. HP is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit is on loan from HP, and once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing for the Aero 13 starts at $749.99. For those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. It comes in four different colors, natural silver, warm gold, ceramic white, and pale rose gold. We have the natural silver here today. And with specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Once again, you get that eco-friendly packaging. Inside, you get some warranty information and documentation along with a 45-watt power adapter that has a barrel pin connector along with the extension cord. Holding the unit for the first time, and the first thing that comes to mind when I hold it is how thin and light it is. At around one kilogram or about 2.2 pounds, this thing is really portable, easy to take with you on the go. And folks, this is not plastic. This is a magnesium alloy chassis. It's magnesium alloy on the top, bottom, keyboard deck. I like this, especially at a 749 starting price, not something we see every day. All right, let's check out the port selection. On the left side, you get one HDMI 2.0 port, a USB-A port, a USB-C port, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Moving over to the right side is a second USB-A port and your power port for the barrel pin connector AC adapter. The one port that stands out to me that's missing is there's no SD or micro SD card slot, something to keep in mind. And of course, there's no Thunderbolt port as this is running an AMD Ryzen processor. And for those wondering, yes, you can charge this laptop with that USB-C port. Nice. Now, as far as what's user upgradable, HP actually has a really nice video on how to get inside this laptop. So I actually, I'm really happy. I don't have to do it myself and ruin those rubber strips so you can see for yourself how to do it. I'll leave a link for that video in the description below. But as far as what's user upgradable, the RAM is soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to upgrade that. And you're looking at DDR4 3200 RAM running in dual channel mode. That means you're going to get better performance out of it. But again, I don't see any way for you to upgrade it as they're saying it is is on board, meaning it's soldered in. Now, as far as the SSD, that is user upgradable, although the 512 gigabyte MVME SSD that they do include with this laptop gives you some pretty decent reads and writes, as you can see from the results. And it's also good to know that the wireless card is also upgradable. We get Wi-Fi 6 along with a Bluetooth 5.2 combo here, and it is working well. Both are working as expected. And another real surprise here is the display and just how good it is. Now, there are two options when it comes to the display, a 13.3 inch full HD plus option or a 13.3 inch WQXGA option, which is a resolution of 2560 by 1600. Now, I do have the full HD plus option with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. These are IPS displays. These are matte displays. That means you don't get any unnecessary glare or reflections. And so far, super impressive with this display really deep blacks really vibrant colors you also get some good white points excellent contrast and you also get good coverage of the color gamut 
you're looking at 98% sRGB, 75% Adobe RGB, 76% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut, and 69% NTSC. So what does this mean? This means this is a pretty decent choice if you want to do color grading, Lightroom, Photoshop, or video editing. And it's a pretty color accurate display as well with a 0.98 Delta E score, which is very good. And HP claims that this display can get as bright as 400 nits. I actually measured even higher, 405. And that means this is going to be great for both indoor and outdoor scenarios, especially with the fact that this is not a glossy display, so you don't get any unnecessary glare or reflections. That's very good. And for only $30 more, you can upgrade it to the higher resolution 2K plus display. And I would actually do that if you want that higher resolution, although you might take a little bit of a hit in battery life. So that's up to you. But only $30 premium, that is a very intriguing choice. That's for sure. So this is the front facing camera on the brand new HP Pavilion Aero 13, a mid tier 13 inch laptop that really, uh, really has surprised me how nice this is in terms of the specs really has a nice processor, the Ryzen 7 5800U with integrated Radeon graphics of the Vega 8 graphics. It's got a nice full HD plus display. It's a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. Really blown away with this nice uh, magnesium alloy chassis. This is a surprise because you don't normally expect this in this tier of laptop. Now, it does have a 720p webcam. It's not a Windows Hello webcam, and I don't see a shutter switch anywhere. So keep that in mind, but it does have a fingerprint scanner located below the keyboard for you to log in with Windows Hello. But I'm curious to know what you think about it. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about the video quality? What do you think about the audio quality of the internal mics? I am curious to know. And they know some of you out there are wondering, yes, you can open the lid with one finger. Now, once you look at that keyboard, you'll notice that edge to edge layout. And I actually like it. So far, the keyboard has actually been pretty good. Good tactile feedback, good key travel, very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. Now, my review unit, unfortunately, doesn't have a backlight on the keyboard, but there is a $20 option to get that backlight. I definitely recommend it if you want to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And it has a precision touchpad that's actually working pretty well. I haven't had any issues with it. Scrolling has been good, and so has the gestures. Now let's talk about performance, and this has the Ryzen 7 5800U processor, a Zen 3-based processor from AMD, of course, with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I got to say, performance has been very good, as you can see from the numbers, although I noticed a difference in performance when you plug it in versus when it is unplugged. As you can see from the Geekbench here, as an example, it did a much better multi-core and single core score when it's plugged in as opposed to when it's not plugged in. So there is a disparity in performance under those two different scenarios. So something to keep in mind. And I'll talk more about this in the upcoming full review. So stay tuned. And another area where I was pleasantly surprised was in the audio. It has bottom-facing speakers, and they're banging Olufsen tuned. And I got to say, they fill up a small room pretty nicely, gets pretty loud, and there is even a hint of bass, not something we normally see on a mid-tier laptop such as this, but really pleasantly surprised. Actually, audio has been pretty good. All right, folks, so far, so good. The HP Pavilion Aero 13 has surpassed any of my expectations, especially with a very affordable 749 starting price, and it is available now. Again, I will leave a link in the description below where you can buy it because I think this is going to be in the running for one of the best value laptops of the year. And with the back-to-school season here, this is a great choice for the student going back to school. I'll have more on that in just a little bit. But I will be doing my full review on this as I put it through its paces over the next week or so, and I will bring you that full review. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss it. So what do you think about this boy, the HP Pavilion Aero 13? Really liking it so far. Great value with that starting price of $749. Couple of things I wanted to mention. 43 watt hour battery that got 10 and a half hours on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. What does that mean? Real world mixed usage. I think you're looking at anywhere from eight to nine hours. I still have to do my final test on battery results, but that'll give you a kind of an idea of what to expect with this laptop. Not bad. Good for all day battery life, especially if you're a student. 
Performance has been good so far, as I mentioned. I got a lot more testing to do. One of the things I'm also going to test in the full review that I didn't mention is the thermals. We're going to go over that as well. And of course, I'll give you gaming performance and real world performance as well. What do you think about this at $749 to start? Over $1,000 with it all decked out. I think this is a great value and one to keep your eye on, especially if you're going back to school. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.